Hello everyone and welcome to the iDocchio tutorial on how to add a new class. In iDocchio there are really two different ways to add a class. You can either do it manually or you can import. If you'd like to do it manually the old-fashioned way, well it's fairly easy to do that. All you have to do is go up here and click on add. So you click on add class. And that brings up this menu here class, bulletin board, or online template, go ahead and click on class. Then you'll bring up this screen for typing in, you put in your class name, a little note about the class and the year. You can go ahead and click on save. And then it creates your class for you, as you see here. This is your class. Only one tab here on the side. No students. So in order to put students in, you'll have to type them in manually. You can either click on this new student button here, or just click and hold at the top, which will bring up this little menu here. So you just click on add student. Type in all the student information in here. Tap done. And there you are. So this method is not so bad if you've only got one class. You type in 30 different names and you're ready to go. However, if you teach multiple classes, this uh, manual method may not be the best way to get your, all your students into your classes. So there's definitely a much more efficient way to do this, and that's the import method. The best thing about the import method is that we already have a system at our school that will generate Excel files of our class lists. So all you gotta do is ask the Veep if he or she will generate one of these lists for you and you have all you need to import instantly a class into iDocchio. And there's really two ways you can import a file into iDocchio. One is through saving it into an online cloud-based storage like Dropbox or you can even import directly from your email and I'll show you how to do those next. So here's the Dropbox app. It's a free app that you can download directly to your iPad. When you create an account, you automatically get two gigabytes of free storage space. And it's great for storing files like pictures, Word documents, and Excel. So right down here, I have my Excel file of my class list. I want to import that into iDocchio. So here's what I do. First, I'm going to click on the file. Okay, and then it shows me my class list up here. Really be careful that when you do have an Excel file, the class list, the very first row has name in it. If the first row is actually the first name of your student, that student's name will become the title of your, of your tab in iDocchio, and you don't want that. So make sure the first row in your Excel sheet is name. So what you're going to do to get this into iDocchio is click on this button up here, Okay, then you'll get this menu right here. What you want is you want to click on the Open In menu right there. So click on that. Then as long as iDocchio is installed on your iPad, Open In iDocchio will be one of the options. So click on Open In iDocchio. Then iDocchio will automatically open, and you'll have two options, Create New Class or Append Data to New Class. We'll talk about that second option in a in a later video. But right now, go ahead and click on New Class. So then that will automatically create a new class for you, and all of the student names will be automatically inputted into there. You might want to change the name up here. You can do that easily from here or from the, the home screen. Now, if you don't have a Dropbox account or you have absolutely no interest in it, um, you can still do this whole process through email. Just get that really helpful Veep to uh, send you uh, an Excel file to your Peel email. You'll have to open that email from your iPad that has iDocchio installed on it. So here's my email, here's my Excel file, and the process is very similar to what we just did in Dropbox. You're just going to click, only here you'll click and hold on that file. Clicking and holding on something on an iPad is very similar to right-clicking on a computer with your mouse, it opens up a new menu for you. So I'm going to click and hold on that file. 
And it's going to bring up this menu here, an open in menu, just like what we saw in Dropbox. And again, open in, Di open in iDocio is one of the options. So click on there and it will do the same process that we went through before. It will automatically open up the iDocio app and ask you if you want to create a new class or append to class. So it's same as before, just click on create new class. So that's pretty much all it is. That's how you create new classes in iDocio.